It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and this is an interesting one for you because this is an Australian brewing company with Belgian roots. Belgian family roots. And it's not just Belgian family roots of Belgian chocolate or British Belgian racing drivers like Lando Norris. No, 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 this is, this is, this is people from Belgium that made their way to Australia and now they've opened a brewing company. So I believe the family name is Maddock. It might be Maddock. And they call it a story in every beer. You can see here that there's, there's a so on the side of the can it says Belgian born, coast crafted. So you can see here that there's a big nod, a big donning of the cap to Belgian here, the heritage from the family. But they've made that kind of life changing decision to, to, to go and live in Australia, which I mean, wouldn't that be a lovely thing? I, I, I've thought of that before too, you know? That lovely, that lovely, like, let's, let's do something completely different. But they went and done it. But they produced some Belgian beer here in Australia. It's 8.5% ABV. They called it a strong amber ale. Called it Reynard. Now, Strong Amber Ale, 8.5% ABV. Let's bring it back a little bit. Let's ask the question, if this was brewed in Belgium, Belgium even, would it be a Belgian double or a Belgian triple? Hmm. There's only one way to find out. It's a 385 375 milliliter can. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Yeah, look at this. It's got that carbonation as well. From a, from a Belgian beer. Built on tradition, brewed for today. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's, there's a lot of that going on on the side of the can. I, I like the fact, I really do. I can't emphasize enough the fact that you can still love where you're from, but you don't always have to live there. I've, I, I've lived in, I, I've lived in this town all my life. And I often dream of, of doing something else, going somewhere else, moving completely somewhere different. It doesn't mean I don't love the place. It doesn't mean I, I, I stop being a Welshman. It just means I'm a Welshman somewhere else. I can still watch the football games and the rugby and the whatever else we do in Wales. Good levels of carbonation. Hazy, amber coloured ale. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, this is all day long. Ooh. All day long, this is... Belgian triple. I'm going to see Belgian triple here. Sweet, sweet kind of candied fruit aromas. Hoppy at the same time. Peppery, spicy. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, 
Oh, oh. oh yeah, but this is different. Oh, this is very different. This this has it's, it, it's definitely Belgian triple. But it's got all that kind of hissy, fizzy, aggressive Belgian carbonation. And then it's got some Australian hops in it. And that's the difference here. That's the difference with this beer. You're getting Belgian traditional sweet candied sugar over here. High ABV, you can feel that warmth as the beer slides down the throat into the pit of the stomach. But as the beer is finishing, as you're experiencing that warming sensation, as the beer slides down the throat into the pit of the stomach, you're, <coughs> pardon me, you're also picking up this wonderful like marmalade, marmalade, orange, spicy, peppery, flavoursome Australian hops in the beer. It's really good. Mouthfeel is Mouthfeel's an interesting one. It's highly carbonated beer. As the Belgians brew it. But it's it's got a kind of a creamy richness to it. They, they, they've used some really complex malts here in this beer to produce it. It's it's really a sweet Belgian can candy fruit, kind of like orange peel, juicy orange, marmalade, like spicy, spicy rye. Marmalade on rye. This is a classic example of marmalade on rye bread. Great stuff. It's a great, great beer. Um, I want to thank Mick. Thank you very much to Mick in Australia for sending me the beer. Really appreciate it. Um, our mission at Maddock is to share our rich Belgian beer culture, traditions and techniques with some of the best beer drinkers in the world. You. We believe every beer has a story and we're proud to share ours with you. Yes, great stuff. Our name uh, Maddock is inspired by the lost story of a Dutch poet who wrote the famous folk folkloric tales of Reynard the Fox, a clever, cunning, sympathetic hero who also inspired the likes of Robin Hood. These stories represent the triumph of craft over brute strength and we think our characterful beers share the same sentiment. Each beer is the story series, in, in the story series, sorry, represents a character from the stories and we hope you meet them all. Ah, Rain at the Fox. Right. This Belgian style strong amber ale has a complex, intense, and sneaky character, just like Rain at the Fox. With fruity aromas, medium malt intensity, and yeast, derived herbal and peppery flavours, it makes this beer the flagship of our range. It, it, it you know, this, this I read, the more I read, the, they're an independent brewery as well in Australia. The more I read, the more I'm. The more I'm tasting the beer, the more I'm experiencing it. It's great. Belgian people, kind of inspiring Australians to drink Belgian beer. It's a great thing. And, and creating this like hybrid Australian hops, Belgian triple. I'm going to call it a Belgian triple. Yeah, I like it. I, I'm going to rate it. 
I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.